says, if I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Oh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. Please. Three times I saved your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. Hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on, roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, it's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. That old fairy tale. Yeah, like this ward. Old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer out here. <laughs> you think people actually live like this? Uh, <laughs> not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. now ain't got nowhere to go there's got to be another way through about time what took you what happened to these poor bastards can't let it go to waste use it on that bum ankle of yours <laughs> won't help me none hey come on let's get some distance between us and these bodies Here. 
Oh, this is bad. This is bad with a side of broccoli. Uh, uh, a side of what? Nothing. Something my mom used to say. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <clears throat> No way the war's real. How would a nest like this out here? You know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out.
It's okay. You're safe. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Uh, can't hold this forever, Bo! Thanks. Who are you? Questions later. We gotta get moving. On three. We still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. <sighs> Root or thick down here. Must be what I felt back at the ward. Wait! <coughs> You're from the ward? Shit! <coughs> Maybe Santa's real too. Yeah, it's not far from here. But the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. would know they've lost, but they won't lay down without a fight.
Hey, you okay? Not bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. The ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. Uh, I'm fine, I... Uh, 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 Cass, ooh, that looks like root rot. But I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... Uh, uh, we need to get her to work, uh, real quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, or we'll lose the light. Take good care of her. Welcome to Ward 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh. He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo. Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. You know, <laughs> it, it's strange how quiet it is here some days. Like, nothing's going on. Yeah, kind of boring if you ask me. I'd like a little more adventure in my life sometimes. Oh, yeah? Well, we could send root or really go. This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's final. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Excuse me? Uh, <clears throat> We'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace said, yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know, families fight. Andrew Ford, 
Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. Huh, how about that? I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk, and some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. It's a great answer, just not a full one. Not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number, but I knew someone was coming. Our young Wallace told me. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present, sometimes. Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources, and then we'll get into it in earnest. Who, specifically? Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Ha! <laughs> Want some intel, huh? All right, Traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. <laughs> Not now. You were right, Mudder. Traipsing in here like you own the place. Ha! <laughs> I'm just pulling you. Name's Brabus, and I run security around here. Well, seeing as you got the mayor's personal approval, I reckon you ain't problem now. I also make sure folks hereabouts can protect themselves. It ain't just the root kicking around. A lot of folks still ain't chummy with this whole rebuilding society business. Yep. I should know. Barrel.
I used to be one of them. Up until about 20 years ago, I ran a pack called the Mud Dogs. We took what we wanted and killed anyone who crossed us. Maybe yeah, just the doggy dog world back game. then. We all did what we had to to survive. Uh, things might be different now, but a lot of folks can't chew a path out of the old ways. Maybe never will. Two shots sent a mass and one to the head. We'll stop most of your problems. Greetings. Forgive me. I am not good with Paxel take faces. Oh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Paxel take apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel take name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxel pick faster, stronger, more powerful. They help it defeat its enemies. <laughs> and the prices are quite fair. Quality it cannot find elsewhere, not even on Yesha. <laughs> you must return soon. See you, traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to. Yep. That makes a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. I'll see you again, traveler. Traveler? They don't like it when I help you, but it is the role I must play. I'll see you again, traveler. We gotta watch our own. No one else will. Nobody's been down there in years. I'd get some gear if I were you. They 
Maybe just need to go see Reed. He can probably help my gun. Hope you ain't causing trouble, stranger. More work for me. Well, I'm good for big game, but that uh, boy what talks to the roof. Not so much for what I'm after. I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. <laughs> right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he's stupid. I can see your gear is uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. Friend, <laughs> glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? That's right, but everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Ha, <laughs> yeah. That sounds like Bravis. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? Damn right it sounds crazy, but that's how I know you ain't lying. Only Wally would do that to a person. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So, either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what, I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time, yeah? So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? Oh, it's a miracle. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? It pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here, so I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. like you could help an old man take on the world. <laughs> you ready to do this? Then let's not waste any more time. This way. Like home. 
Here, take this. Just crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no. We had to know everything there was to know about them. It was a matter of national security. Of pride. So yeah, we opened the door and walked through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the root found a way. After that, well, huh. we all know what happened after that. Lock, huh? Well, this is my house. <laughs> Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to in case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here somewhere. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Come on, let's go. There you are. Hurry up. Hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Ah, never mind. Now. Let's see if that worked. Work to do what, exactly? Holy shit. Go back. 
tell Bo to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Board? Board? Board! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. Did it? He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! Stupid! 